Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. And in this video, I wanted to address a an oversight, maybe a, an, a miscommunication that uh, came up during the electromagnetic pulse video series that I did with Arthur Bradley recently. In the third video, we were talking about a device that he's creating called the EMP Storm. And that device is designed, oh, by the way, if you haven't seen the video series, it's really great. Arthur Bradley's the real deal. He knows what he's talking about. If you want like the real dirt on uh, EMP, CME, and all that kind of stuff, here's a link to it. You can check it out. But anyway, in the last video, we're talking about this device that he's made to you know, protect people from some of the impacts of, a, of an EMP. And uh, there was kind of a miscommunication uh, in that video. A lot of people kind of got the wrong impression. I wanted to make sure I put this video together to kind of correct any um, confusion there was about that. Now, uh, if you followed the science right through the whole thing, you know, it, it's all right there for you. But at the end, when we're talking about the, uh, about the device, we weren't explicit in saying that the device only protects people against the uh, conductive threat. Uh, they, when, when there's like an EMP pulse or a CME, there are two parts of that. One is the radiated threat that comes right down to the ground from the sky. And the other uh, aspect of that is what has been collected on the electric grid and, you know, flows through all the electric grid wires and then slams into your house. Uh, those are the, the two aspects to it. Uh, and his device is explicitly, well, maybe not explicitly, at least not in our interview, but exclusively designed to address the conductive threat. It has no impact on the radiated threat that just comes down through the air. It's, it's just to address that huge amount of energy surge that would come through the electrical grid and slam into your house and pretty much destroy anything that you have plugged in. Uh, that might make you think, well, what's the point of it then if I also have to do Faraday cages and everything? Uh, and, and the answer to that is, well, you don't really necessarily have to do Faraday cages for everything. If there were a, C a CME or an EMP, a lot of your stuff is probably going to survive it. It's a little bit of a crapshoot. Uh, you know, it's like things with smaller uh, wiring aren't going to uh, collect as much of that radiated energy. It's like there, it's like a smaller antenna, so it picks up less of the signal. Uh, but at the same time, the wiring tends to be more fragile. So, you know, there's a if there were an EMP, there would be a lot of stuff damaged just through that radiated energy, but there'd be a lot of stuff that wouldn't be damaged. And his device is intended to protect your house and things that are plugged in that would otherwise survive it. So, you know, if your, your house survives a lot of the radiated energy or a lot of devices in your house survive that radiated energy, his device uh, keeps them from being absolutely destroyed by that conductive energy that would come through the through the power grid and everything. So that's what his thing does. And uh, again, like I said, if we in the video, we kind of talk about the science and then we talk about his device, but we weren't really explicit saying that his device only addresses that one act, aspect to it. So Faraday cages are still something that are useful for people that uh, you know have sensitive electronics that they want to protect. Just buying this device is not you know, put a bubble of protection over your whole house. So I just wanted to be really uh, explicit with that and make sure that there weren't any miscommunications along those lines. Additionally, since I was doing this video, I figured I might as well showcase this thing right here. Look, aliens invading by air dropping bird flu infected clown zombies. I, a lot, oh, and it says, are you ready for it at the bottom? Uh, yeah, a lot of people have suggested, hey, you know, Praxis, you should do some t-shirts. I'd love to, you know, get a t-shirt with that on it. I guess I say things that people, think or weird or whatever. And, uh, you know, I have been kind of picking away at that. Uh, and I, I, I designed this shirt and I bought it for River's mom, actually, because it's River here, uh, uh, for Christmas. So I'm giving her this shirt. I figured I you know, might as well throw it in a video before I give it to her. It's a little small for me, as you, you can see. But uh, uh, yeah, I, they are available. Here's a, a link down below if you want to check it out. Don't go to this, uh, it's a little cafe press shop that I set up. Don't go there and think that you're supporting this channel by buying anything. I, I guess I could like mark up all the things and I'd like make a couple, a couple dollars off of, you know, each sale. But honest to God, they're so expensive to begin with. I think this shirt was like $25 or something for this thing. And it's like, I don't know, maybe just because I'm accustomed to shopping at Salvation Army. It just seemed like really expensive. So I... I I didn't have the heart to mark anything up, so I don't make any money off any of that stuff. But if you think it's fun or whatever, I'd love to see a picture of you wearing, you know, aliens invaded by air dropping bear infected clown zombies. I made this one kind of like really ambiguous. It's like you'll walk down the street and people will see that and it says like blah, 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 blah. Are you ready for it? I, I presume you're going to, 
I'm the kind of person that wears a lot of t-shirts and I'm always getting asked about them. I think this is the kind of t-shirt you get asked about. It's like, what is AI, B -b 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 whatever. So, you know, if you want a conversation started, this might be a good one. So that's it. I wanted to address the EMP thing. I figured I'd throw this up there. I don't think you could get anything for Christmas at this time. It, like, when I ordered this, it was like, took, took weeks, I don't know, to show up, whatever. <laughs> but that's it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you coming up at the end of the week. What's coming up? the finale episode of the first season of Alien Invasion with our special guest star, Canadian Prepper. So make sure you check that out. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.